Hi guys, today we're doing a tutorial on how to manual a longboard. Now you may have seen our how to manual a skateboard tutorial, it's very similar. But with a longboard, it's a lot longer and most of the time it's a lot heavier. So you're going to want to put your feet a bit closer together to lift up the back. Pause a second. I'm using the Mindless Savage homemade version of the deck. So it doesn't have a lip or a tail. So it's a lot harder to manual and there's a lot less space for your feet. But as you can see on the front, on the nose, there's a lot more space. So when you're learning, it might be a bit easier to just flip the board around. So your back foot's on the nose, front foot's like this. So you've got the board the wrong way around, but you've actually got it's a lot easier to manual. And then once you get a bit better, you can put the board the normal way around and then learn to manual properly. But it's a lot easier on a deck like the Tantien or the Bangra, both made by Loaded. And the Dervish is quite a lot easier as well because there's a lot more room for the front and the back. Or you can do it on many other mindless boards, like the Mindless Rogue, which has a rather large tail, as you can see here. So, if you've watched our How to Manual a Skateboard tutorial, you'll know this. But as you're doing it, you need to try and keep your weight balanced. And one foot, your back foot on the back, obviously. And on a long board, you want your front foot just backwards from halfway. So about there. And then you can hold it like that. But some people find it easier in different positions. Some people find it a lot easier up the front. That's a lot harder. So, here we go. Hi guys, as you can see I switched boards because it just started to rain and because my trucks are dropped through, feet kept slipping off so it was quite hard. So I'm on this mindless road with a quite a large tail, so here we go. And because it was raining, we are now in the shelter of the car. <laughs> 